I just installed and was testing the new Pulse application. And let me tell you, it's a complete evolution from the original Pulse application that we saw. It's not only the graphics are very nice, but actually the concept seems to be far an evolution. I see it more like the evolution in graphics from the dashboard and the way that we created dashboards in the past with the way that now you can create dashboard with this new app. But before I proceed with my experiences on this, let me tell you that if you like the previous Pulse app, it's still available here. Uh, so that's one of you go here on, on, and you select from these groups, the thread globe, you get the same app as you know as we have seen uh, before. But going back to the new this new app, really anything that you have in a search, you can make it a very fancy graph, and it comes with a couple of groups. This is the one on. Uh, flow events per second and uh, flows per minute and what are the top log sources um, both in a bar chart as well as pie chart but there are different groups in here there's one for offenses uh, and there's one for miscellaneous uh, graphics that I actually have been playing with uh, but let me go back to the original concept which is Anything that is that you have a search, typically will be a, an advanced search, you can make it a very fancy graphic. But this thing is full of features. I'm going to show you some of the ones that I have already uh, discovered. And I will probably make another video as a follow-on as I discover more. These graphics are actually very easy to configure and to modify. And looks like IBM wants to use this as a model and incentivize people to actually take these and modify them. So in every one of those, you can click on that pencil as I just did, and you can change obviously the name. Uh, and there are two choices here on data source. One's are offenses, and another one is uh, AQL. And this refreshes every five minutes. And notice that it gives you the actual AQL syntax that you can actually modify to show your query with different uh, data. We can scroll down and see what basically what what uh, what we saw before when you can create a new view and you know make it you know a, a, a pie chart. You know I'm gonna call this one also top top ten. the label I'm selecting my low sources and the value is even rate I mean if you don't like the stuff in the middle and make it like a donut you can actually do that and this graphic is so skewed that it's not the best example but you get the, the actual picture and I can actually save this and I in here now have two views should have two views yes actually three I was actually playing before this is the one I just actually did so this is very nice. So these graphics are actually very customizable. This button here allows you to download a JPEG of, of this version. Uh, you can see those events that make this up in uh, the log activity tab. You can actually, I like this one, you, when you click expanded view, then if you want to take the whole space and put it in a big uh, monitor at your sock site, this is probably the best option for that. And you can take these charts and move them around. You can make them, you know, play them and make them larger and bigger and everything <laughs> automatically adjusts uh, itself on the, on the actual uh, spaces. So very, very flexible indeed. Let's actually go into this miscellaneous metrics and notice that you have these buttons in here that allows you to zoom in and zoom out okay and one thing 
that I actually did in here, the, if you install this by default, you get the first part of the SQL query. Select source IP and the graphics looks like your dots because it's showing you the, the source IP. But if you put another column, say comma, the same thing, but put it with destination IP, uh, geo destination, and, and you run your query, you get the sample data here and this is the way it looks, you know, the, the, the traffic going from the source to the destination IP and, and you can uh, modify the grip and if, if you believe that the that the world is flat you can actually change the view and see it in this way. It's very very customizable indeed. It's so I would encourage you to uh, download this app and play with it. It's actually very intuitive and it's an easy way of really uh, getting uh, dashboards. This is certainly an evolution from the original dashboard. This is far easier to configure. The graphics are uh, much nicer, but they revolve around the same concept. I mean, anything that is searchable, you can make very fancy graphics uh, easily now in Curator. Very good.